Hello guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a update video on my German collection and I've just set up everything out here in my living room. Unfortunately I don't have the space to have a permanent display of my items. I don't have everything on display upstairs. So now and again I'll just take it all out and I thought um, it's a nice sunny day today. Um, a nice day for a spring clean so I just took out all the items and just um, laid them on display here. And I thought we'd just go over the items and um, give you an opportunity to have a look at my collection as it stands at the moment. I've always had an interest in German military, um, basically in German history. Since the um, late 70s, um, I was lucky enough to live in Germany back in the 1970s. And... Um, developed an interest in German history there and also in the Third Reich period. And I'm not a political collector. Um, the reason I collect these are basically historical interest. But anyhow, we'll just have a little look at the items that I have got. It's a, um, a decent sized collection, I suppose, especially if you're a beginner. It's maybe taken me about 20 years or so to collect the entirety of the collection. Um, I'm not a somebody that builds a collection very quickly. I just buy um, bits and pieces here and there. Most of them are still reasonably priced nowadays. And even if you're just a beginner, you can still build up a nice collection with not too high a outlay. Anyhow, the items are mostly genuine. There are some reproductions in my collection though. So for example, that SS uniform down there, the Epsentan or P-Dot camouflage uniform is a reproduction. The hand grenade is a wooden reproduction. The hat and the green tunic, the M43 tunic is a reproduction. But the white smock is genuine. And the other thing that is a reproduction is that fox storm poster in the back there. But as I say, the rest of the items are genuine. I think the uh, very first item I bought um, big time were the three helmets, and I bought these about just over 20 years ago. Um, and they've gone up in price quite a lot nowadays. It's really a pretty. Um, mind-boggling how much the um, prices have gone up over the year the last few years or so so anyhow i've got a woolen side cap there um luftwaffe side cap i've got three german helmets they're all m40s i've got nothing special here there's no ss stuff in here there's no nazi party regalia or anything like that it's basically um third reich um wehrmacht items which is my main interest. Got some books in the back there. I've got um, several German books. So I've got these two there. The Polar Kreis is the um, Polar, the Arctic Circle, uh, Warfare up in Finland. I've got a nice book on the Army Group South, making their way to the uh, Ukraine and um, Crimea. A couple more books here. I've got a German soldier's manual from um, late 1939, and I've also got a Hitler Jugend songbook. So, what have we got? Well, got a M31 Zeltbahn, got the ammunition box there, got a hardback P38 holster. Uh, these were issued post war, but they were made during the war. So. Some of them were used during the war, but I think the majority were kind of kept in storage and then used by the police in the post-war period. But it is a um, gecko holster. It's quite a nice um, example. Got an officer's belt and a Stug 3 um, anti-tank armor-piercing shell. It's obviously inert. Got a few more bits and pieces here. Equipment, got a mess tin and a water bottle ammunition pouches, belt, M1940 braces, and I've got a, a um, 
bread bag in the back there. Otherwise, equipment wise, I've got a map case and a first aid pouch with contents. I've got a collection of first um, aid and field dressing um, packs there. A couple of deactivated weapons. I've got a deactivated P38 pistol with its P38 soft shell late war holster. I've got eight inert 9mm rounds to go with the pistol. I've got a spare magazine as well. And I've got a deactivated K98 Mauser with inert ammunition there in the back. The Mauser has a 1939 dated sling, a couple of compasses, Voigtlander binoculars. I've got a, a Mauser bayonet there, non matching. Got the um, K98 rifle cleaning kit there. I think the only political item that I have is that souvenir stein for a party rally in Nuremberg. It's a pre war um, souvenir. Got some German currency, Third Reich currency, some belt buckles, original German 9mm um, cardboard box for the ammunition. Got a air raid poster there, printed in uh, Munich. So that's kind of mid war, late war. Got a Third Reich little pig there. It's a tin plate pig made by, I think, um, Chico. Got a series of magazines to go with my collection. Uh, I've got about 10 Signal magazines and a selection of other magazines. I've got a book there, another um, softback book. And I'm moving on to here. I just don't have the uh, space everything together. I've got in the back four albums, stamp albums. The blue uh, stamp albums contain stamps and the red ones contain mostly postcards, letters and that kind of thing. I'll do a separate videos on the um, stamps at one at someday. And I've got my collection of um, regalia items. I've got my Third Reich military book. So if you're a beginner, even now, if you're beginning um, to collect military items, Third Reich items, I would certainly recommend that book. It's it's quite a dated book. It's um, it originally came out in 1987. I got my book in the early 1990s. Um, this one here is actually a reprint from 1992. You can buy these on the likes of eBay and the like. They're pretty cheap nowadays. Um, there are price lists in the book which are totally out of date, but um, if you ignore the price list, there's a, a lot of information in here. The um, book has a lot of information about various collecting fields, and it also has a um, good range of um, maker marks and the like. Some good um, black and white photographs here. So it's quite a useful book if you're starting out um, collecting Third Reich items, even though, as I say, there is a dated book but it has all the relevant information that's still relevant um, nowadays so I guess I'll leave it at that the uh, video is getting a little bit long but um, that's basically my collection as it stands mid-March 2024 I'm quite happy with the um, collection as it stands so I'll leave it at that I suppose as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.